What's going on guys? So here in this box is a Nintendo Wii that I bought from Amazon and it's actually a renewed Nintendo Wii. So basically Amazon sells these renewed consoles where they, I guess they have certain contractors that are able to refurbish consoles and then resell them. Um, and they go for a steep price. I paid over $200 for this, which is absolutely insane for a Nintendo Wii. I mean, if you look at eBay, you can find, you know, a full package of Nintendo Wii with a controller and some games and stuff for less than a hundred bucks. So I way overpaid, but you know, I'm doing it for the video. I've never actually purchased a renewed console from Amazon, so I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. So real quick before we get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I also want to show you guys my new website. So it's just jrobgaming.com. Uh, it's not launched yet, but you can put your email address in and you'll know as soon as it launches. Uh, but basically, instead of reselling all my consoles and games and accessories on eBay, I'm going to be selling them directly to you guys. I also got some merch as well. I got one profile picture sticker up here so far. But yeah, make sure to go to jrobgaming.com and put your email in and you'll know as soon as it launches. So there's a few interesting things in the description of this renewed Nintendo Wii. So first of all, um, it doesn't even tell you what model it is. So I'm really hoping it's the GameCube compatible model that I can actually play GameCube games on or else I got even more screwed than I already did. Uh, but the first of all, the, the one good thing is it apparently has a 90 day warranty. So let's say you buy an old console that's known for issues like the Xbox 360. A uh, 90 day warranty is not too bad, honestly. And then, like I said, it says it's been professionally inspected, tested and cleaned by Amazon qualified suppliers. I don't know what kind of qualification that involves, but I can't imagine it's much. And then it says there's no visible cosmetic imperfections when held at an arm's length. So that's that's an interesting metric. Also says the products with batteries will exceed 80 percent capacity relative to new. Um, accessories may not be original. This is the one that gets me. It says the accessories may not be original, but will be compatible. So I'm basically convinced that I'm going to get a, a, a third party controller and nunchuck and stuff. Hopefully I at least get that stuff. But I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at this box real quick just to see the condition. So the side is actually kind of bulging. Uh, so I'm guessing that the, the Wii box is larger than this box and they just stuffed it in here. I'm not sure why. Other than that, it looks okay. Um, and I'm actually pretty sure that uh, another package came in this box. So it's not just the Nintendo Wii. We're going to see what else is in here, but um, let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so the box is sliced open. Let's see what's inside of here. So first of all, we actually have some packaging, which is a good sign. Uh, you know, Amazon is not always the best about that. And here we go. So <laughs> this thing also came with some roach bait I bought. And this is funny. Uh, the reason I bought this is because I found a roach in my house and I'm like 95% sure it's from a console I bought. Um, I'll throw that console on the screen or I'll throw that video on the screen right now if you want to see that video. I um, bought a pretty sketchy console, but I'm pretty sure that's where the roach came from. Don't usually have roach problems, but uh, that's interesting that it came in the same box. I They're not even the same order. They just decided to ship them in the same box, I guess. Uh, can't be too mad about that. Um, and then here is the Wii box. So Clearly, it's just its own like generic box. Let's go ahead and take it out of the package and take a look at it. All right, so here's the box that the Wii is supposedly in. And at first glance, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. As you can see, just some standard creases and stuff. And on this side, it actually has a couple labels, which is interesting. So uh, clearly it says Nintendo Wii console black. I don't even know if I mentioned it's black, but yeah, it's black. And then it shipped from Retro Refresh and went to Sosa Games. And I guess, I don't know if Sosa Games is the one that refurbished it or if it Retro Refresh. I don't know. Um, but Retro Refresh sounds like a company that refurbishes stuff. I don't know though. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this thing up. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's a black Wii. And I almost want to say that the black Wiis are the ones that aren't GameCube compatible. I don't know that for sure, but we're about to find out. All right. So here we go. And hmm, packaging here is a little bit questionable. There is some bubble wrap, but there's a lot of empty space, which is not usually a great sign. So you got some bubble wrap that's just not doing anything. Uh, you got your power cord, at least it's wrapped up pretty well. Got your power supply. You got your um, sensor bar. Now that's a really, that's actually a pretty <laughs> a pretty clean job there to, to wrap that cable around the sensor bar. Never seen that before. And then we've got a black nunchuck, which looks to be a little bit dirty in the front. Not bad. Then we've got our AV cables and Okay, where is the Wii controller? I think it's attached to the console, but let's let's see. So we actually got some stuff on the bottom as well. We got thank you for choosing certified refurbished on Amazon. So it's interesting they call it certified refurbished here, but on Amazon they call it renewed now. So I don't I don't know what's going on there. And then we got <laughs> just a diagram in case you don't know how to hook it up. So as you can see, hook up the sensor bar, power adapter, standard stuff. And oh, that's interesting. They actually give you Tell you how to sync your controller <laughs> and the initial setup. I guess that's nice in case you never played before. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy now. And there's the Wii controller. All right, 
I was kind of scared for a second that the weakened shore was not here. Here it is. And oh, that actually looks on first glance. That doesn't look too bad. First of all, I'm not sure why they just strapped the Nintendo Wii controller to the Wii like this. That's just really weird. I don't know why they wouldn't wrap it separately in its own bubble wrap, but I guess whatever works. Uh, let's take a look at this controller. So nice. So it is a Wii Motion Plus controller. So that's good. We're get, helping helping us get our money's worth. Uh, Wii Motion Plus probably doesn't have batteries in it. That they, they shouldn't ship it with batteries like that. So it doesn't. The Wii controller actually looks pretty good, and it has a Wii Motion Plus inside. So that should be an official controller and um, a newer type of controller. So that's good to see. And then this thing actually looks pretty clean. I'm not going to lie. It looks like really glossy. Just look at that in the light. I don't see any scratches. I'm Honestly, I'm sure that they, um, they probably have some equipment where they can polish this thing down and get rid of scratches. That's what I'm assuming because I don't know of any Nintendo Wii you can find that's this flawless. <laughs> that actually looks really good, though. And here on the top, let's see, do we have, yes, we have GameCube ports. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. We have GameCube ports. We got the, the memory card slots. That's a good sign. So I was wrong when I said the all black Wiis don't have these GameCube ports. I know I've bought a black Wii in the past that didn't have the GameCube ports. That's that's the only reason I made that correlation. Then here on the back, of course, the uh, ports look good, uh, glossy again. And so here on the bottom, you can see the serial number and you can see the model number, which is RVL-001, which I believe is the, the OG model of the Wii. This side is glossy as well. Can't remember if that's the side I already looked at or not, but both sides look real glossy. It got one kind of mark right there, but nothing bad. And then, of course, here on the front, a little bit of debris that I just had to wipe off. Looks pretty good. Can't complain. This thing actually looks really good. You know, <laughs> if I was to compare this to a GameStop refurbished Wii, um, that thing would have been scratched up with sandpaper and would have looked terrible but this thing actually actually looks pretty good now one thing i will i have noticed is it did not come with the uh the stand so that's a little bit disappointing there's no stand so you got the power cable um av cable also got the sensor cable nunchuck and everything um, but no stand so that's that's a little unfortunate but yeah let's go ahead and plug this thing in and make sure it works all right guys we got everything plugged in well at least almost everything still got to plug in the power but uh yeah, so here's the console, just a closer up look. And as you can see, if it'll focus, that thing's real glossy, real shiny. So I'm fairly certain that they actually just polished it because I don't know that there's any way they could have had a Wii this old that looked that good. Um, so yeah, pretty sure they polished it. So let's go ahead and try to boot this thing up and go ahead and plug the power in. All right, so I got the power plugged in, got a red light, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and try to boot this bad boy up. So we got life. Disc tray lights up blue. Not showing up on the TV, but I'm 99% sure that's because my <laughs> I have to use this adapter to get from AV to HDMI, and it's kind of a piece of crap, and it works sometimes. So let me mess around with that and see if I can get it to work, and then we'll uh, we'll see if it shows up on the TV. All right, so here we go. It's working now. You know, 50% of the time works every time. <laughs> it's that sort of deal. I'm um, also put batteries in here, and there we go. Got life there. Oh, and it's already already synced up. That's good. It's not letting me select. That's oh, that's odd. What's going on here guys all right so it's making me making me use my <laughs> the sensor bar and by the way you got to be a decent amount of the way from from the sensor bar for it to work so I'm kind of back here oh uh, yeah we'll say it's 2010 why not confirm standard we'll go widescreen and now we got to pick a console nickname all right qwerty 68 and a uh, country of residence uh, we'll say the US I'm pretty sure I I've played this game before where I just picked a random country and it just screwed me up later on so <laughs> let me actually pick the US this time and here we are guys, the classic health and health and safety screen, and boom, there is our Wii. Friday, January 1st, we got all the classic channels that came with the Wii. Your disc channel, your me channel, your photo channel, your Wii shop channel, news channel, forecast channel. Let's check out and see if there's an SD card in this thing. I didn't, I didn't see one, but we'll check it just in case. Nope, don't see anything there. You know what we've got to do, we got to make a, a me real quick, because it, it, it's not a Wii without a me. Alright, so here we are guys, <laughs> making a me. We're just gonna see how quick we can make a random me. I always used to love how you could just completely, this is, this is the most advanced like person maker. You could do so many weird things with your face and move the eyebrows around and, oh yeah. This man definitely needs a, a stash. Nice. All right, that's my dude right there. Nickname, whatever comes to me. Dry, <laughs> his name is Dry. Save and quit, all right. So we got our own me now. We're ready to go, we, we're ready to do anything. We got a me. Dry. <laughs> I didn't even try to type that, type that in. It's just what came up. And man, this guy's looking dry. 
All right, let's go back to the main screen now. And I actually got a game to try. I got Wii Sports. You know the classic. I mean, what would a Wii be without Wii Sports? Let's go ahead and slide her in and make sure the disc tray works. And hopefully the disc works itself. I just looked at it and it's got a ton of scratches, um, which honestly, not too hard to get scratches on Wii Sports considering it comes in this crappy case. You gotta like fold it outwards to slide it out and it's just, it's a nightmare. Um, but there it is, Wii Sports. Nice. So many memories. <laughs> the classic. I wonder how many people actually tossed their, their Wii into their uh, TV and broke it. Definitely let me down, know down below if you ever threw your Wii controller and broke something. That'd be pretty interesting to, to hear about. Let's go ahead and bowl real quick. We're gonna bowl with dry. Get a high score. I mean, anything's gonna be a high score because he's never played, so... Um, he's just a little baby. It actually loads pretty fast for a for a console from you know like 2006. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get a strike real quick. Let's go. No way. <laughs> I got screwed. I'm bowling from the side, kind of. This is embarrassing. If we get a spare, we're quitting. Nice, we got a spare. All right, time to quit. All right, so the nunchuck works. Uh, we were able to make a me played Wii Sports, and man, this this nunchuck, or this uh, Wii controller actually looks pretty dang nice. I'm glad it has Wii Motion Plus inside. Definitely an added bonus. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here, and let's go ahead and try out a GameCube game um, with a GameCube controller, because, uh, you know, we we ought to do that since it's got a since it's got the GameCube capability, so let's go ahead and try that out. Alright guys, so we're taking full advantage here. Got my GameCube controller plugged into slot 1, also got a memory card there. And I've got Sonic Riders, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And make sure the GameCube game works. I'm always amazed. Or at least it used to always amaze me. I could put this little tiny disc in and it would <laughs> suck it in properly and actually work. There it is. Nice. Loads up quick. Alright, so this is interesting. It says no memory cards found in slot A. Although, there definitely is a memory card. Alright, I'm in the wrong slot. That's my fault. Let's put it in the right slot and then we'll press retry. There we go. Now it's working. So this is definitely working. We'll start up a race just to make sure the race loads up, but it's looking good so far. I'm actually, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually pretty impressed with this Amazon Renewed console. Um, yeah, it's coming in pretty good condition and everything. Alright, so GameCube is definitely working. Let's go ahead and reset this bad boy and go back to the main menu. Alright guys, so here we are back on the main menu, and we didn't test quite everything, but I think we tested enough to get an idea of what's going on here. And I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you buy refurbished consoles, they're not the best condition, or in the best condition. Uh, most of the time, honestly, they look pretty scratched up and stuff, but this one, like you saw, it's, I mean, it's super glossy. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure they used some some polish, and um, it looks really good. Controller looks good, came with a Wii Motion Plus, also a nunchuck. Um, the only disappointing part is it's very expensive, 215 bucks, I think, after tax and shipping and everything. Well, it came in Prime shipping, so you're, you know, you're paying for Prime already. Um, which, by the way, I paid extra to get the Prime shipping instead of coming from somebody else for like 50 bucks cheaper, just to get the full the full Amazon experience. Um, even though it's still not directly from Amazon, it's from an Amazon seller. And so, yeah, if if uh, Amazon can keep this up with the renewed consoles, then I might buy some more renewed consoles to do on this channel because um, this one was actually in pretty good condition. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's dependent um, from console to console because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, they have contractors and stuff and people that are certified to refurbish these consoles for Amazon and, and, you know, basically do it on behalf of Amazon. So I'm sure there's some bad ones out there. Um, I guess I just got a good one. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe um, and hit that join button if you want to support the channel monetarily. And also go down below and check out my new website, jrobgaming.com. Um, it may or may not be launched yet, depending on when you're watching this. But, uh, yeah, check it out. I'm going to be selling, reselling consoles and stuff. Honestly, I'll probably be selling this console on there soon. Um, but, yeah, definitely go check that out. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.